110. Well, we clap our bejeebles. Got stuff in my eye. Wow, folks. Ladies and, and Garmichaels. Cranberries and sauce. Episode 110. Here we go. We did it. And you know what else? The Dynamite Gizmo Podcast is soon to be available on pretty well all audio platforms such as iTunes, Spotify, Deezer, Google Music, you know, all the stuff. It's going to eventually, we're getting to that point right now, but right now it's available on SoundCloud, okay? So if you go over to Sound Motherfucking Cloud Diggity, you can listen to it just straight Strictly the audio form, if you so desire. Uh, haven't got all the episodes uploaded yet to SoundCloud, um, but I think I'm up to 105, episode 105. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I got hairs everywhere. And they do not want to come off. Look at that. It's not my hair. It's a dog hair for sure. Because it's white. White is the ace of, of cranberry spades. And I just want to, before we get into this here, I just want to say with the stream deck here, I've got, I've updated it. We've got some new stuff in the works here. My poop looks like angel hair pasta. That is Bobby Lee talking about his poop. My poop looks like angel hair pasta. See? And then this one, I'm really proud of. This is, um... If you're a fan of Dynamic Banter, we're going to get into that actually a bit later, but if you're a fan of Dynamic Banter, you would have heard this one. Um. This is a good one. <laughs> it took me a little bit to find this one. That's E.T. saying come. 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 It's the exact same soundbite that is used on Dynamic Banter. Come. Like, Come. There is another scene in the movie where he says come, but the music's a lot louder. Like, there's music in the background of this one. Come. The original one I found, the music was a lot louder, and the the way he said come was, like, too quick and kind of high-pitched. You couldn't really hear it. And I was going to settle with that because I couldn't find the other one. But then I found it, and I was like, yeah, baby. Okay, and we got some new audience stuff. Quick little laugh. The gaffs. Ooh, they like that one. They don't like this one. Wait. Just a quick gasp. That's it for there. And then some we got some new sound effects. Well, actually just one, it looks like. There you folk. There you have it. Um, this one's going to be my favorite though. I love that one. Um, and it, it's been over it's been overplayed on Dynamic Banter and it's going to be overplayed on Dynamite Gizmo podcast. Um, the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. My poopoo looks like angel hair pasta. Thanks, Bobby. Shut your fucking mouth, you. No, you shut your fucking mouth. Frankie, tell him. Okay, guys, let's do some dancing. Let's show me my moves. Let's show me my moves. <laughs> That's the best part. Okay, guys, let's do some dancing. Let's show me my moves. Show me my moves. I show you my moves. Show me my moves. I will show me my moves. 
Okay, guys, let's do some dancing. Let's show me my moves. My poop looks like angel hair pasta. My poop it looks like, my poop it looks like angel hair pasta. But it sounds like he's saying poop, pu either pupil or poopal. My poop looks like angel hair pasta. My poop looks like angel hair pasta. My poop it looks like angel hair pasta. That wouldn't be so bad. Ah, oh, I should have got a. There's another. Oh, there's. Ah, oh, there's two more I could have fucking put on the here. I'm gonna write these ones down. I just thought of two more sound fucking clips I could use. Da 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 da. Okay. Let me just see here. Dun bum ba dum bum. Ba da 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 da. And this one. The only shitty thing about this uh, sound stream, the sound, the stream deck, I mean, is, uh, oh yeah, here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card. It's tra not, 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 not. It's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out because I'll uh, talk about it. Um, the shitty thing about this stream deck is the fact that it only has six buttons on here. So what I do is I create folders. First, I create profiles. I have different profiles. I've got one for just sound bites. I've got one for sound effects. I've got one for uh, audience reactions, and then I've got the just the main one, which has like my intro song, Twitter, Reddit. Okay. So then, within each profile, like the sound bites, I have folders. I mean, you can look at the screen right now. I've got folders. Like, see, this is the sound bites one. You got four on this page, okay? When I go to page two, I can only list three. Because you need to have a back button. You need to have, you know, the, the folder that says more so you can go to the next page. But then I also wanted to include the next profile button so that I can switch through each profiles quickly so the only shitty thing is that you can have really only three per page so you gotta really flick through the pages unless you're on the first page so you know it's not that bad but it um Come. <laughs> but it's you know it's still great I love it I love the fact that I have this thing Oh, it's so good. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Shut your fucking mouth. Shut, Shut your, your fucking, fucking mouth. mouth. I am like the elephant. I never forget. I am like the elephant. I never forget. Man, am I hungry. Man. Am I ever hungry? I also did some more changes. I went back to the green cable XLR, which I don't know why I haven't been. Uh, and then I also switched back to this microphone stand. So, you know, it's easier. It's more podcasty esque. Um, yeah. I switched over to that one. I don't know why, but then uh, you know, this I bought this for this reason. Now this isn't. This is like one of the cheaper ones. There's way better versions of this that are more rigid and they don't have these external springs. Uh, and they probably don't make as much racket when you move it around. But uh, for now, it'll do the job. Someday when I'm making millions, like uh, the elephant. I am like the elephant. I can st I can walk around my house and I can just say to myself, I am like the elephant. <laughs> right? Did rednecks kill your folks? No, they didn't. But too bad because uh poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. You tell them Joe Biden. He said some more crazy shit lately. Well, not crazy. But he was um I don't know, doing some sort of campaign speech somewhere. I don't even know if it was a campaign speech. It looked like he was just like in an arcade talking to people. And he couldn't remember 
Barack Obama's name. So he stumbled and fumbled, and then he said, my former boss or something, I can't remember. Well, I'm not talking about that. That just popped into my head, so I don't have the facts. The fast way is, is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. That's the fast way. Hi, everybody! It's Ping! Yeah, it's Ping. Give it up for Ping. Um. Okay. And to be honest, I'm, I'm really fumbling and stumbling. And it seems like I'm stalling. But uh, that's because I am. Because this car doesn't have a lot of a lot on the plate here so i gotta kind of scrape the bottom of the mayonnaise jar <laughs> if you know what i mean that's a good sound effect scrape the bottom of the mayonnaise jar i should write that down scrape the bottom of the mayonnaise jar that's gonna be a good one That's a good t-shirt idea. How the hell do you spell mayonnaise? Why is that even a word? Mayonnaise! Mayo! Nayaise! Just like... Let's see if I can find that right now, actually. Hallelujah. Close all these. Stupid fucking tabs. Scraping the bottom of the mayonnaise. I don't know how to spell mayonnaise. Jar. What if I just do mayonnaise jar sound effect? Is mayonnaise an instrument? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> From SpongeBob. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Hell yeah. There's a fucking beauty right there. Is mayonnaise okay, an Patrick, instrument? We understand mayonnaise. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Sauce bo Oh, wait, 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 wait. Knife jar. Let's see. Let's see if this is what it is I'm looking for. Thedevo.net What? Thedevo.net That just sounds like a couple knives clanging together. Doesn't sound like you're sh reaching into a mayonnaise jar. Psh. Gosh. People need to learn. My poopy looks like angel hair pasta. Right? My poopy looks like angel hair pasta. My poopy looks like angel hair pasta. That makes me hungry. That makes me hungry. I could definitely go for some angel hair pasta. Luckily, I have some in the fridge. I put angel hair pasta in the fridge. Because I know that there's going to be a day where I will hear... My poopoo looks like angel hair pasta. And then I'll think... Okay, guys. Let's do some dancing. Let's show... Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Shut your fucking mouth, you And then I eat it. I'm an alcoholic. No, I'm not. Don't drink alcohol. Don't say that. Don't say that stuff. This is going to be one of those episodes, isn't it? It's going to be one of those goddamn episodes. Where you just fuck around and you get 
the fucking shits out your mouth just so you can get it out of your mouth. Right? I mean, come on. In Ra We Trust. You want to see a funny Bernie Sanders video? You want to see a funny Bernie Sanders video? Well, check this video out. You're going to laugh. Look, here's the thing. This is not a uh, political statement. This is not him expressing any sort of viewpoint. This is Bernie Sanders strictly being Bernie Sanders. Okay? Have you ever imagined what Bernie Sanders would look like training to become a professional boxer? Well, I've got video evidence of Bernie Sanders fighting to train the elephant. I am like the elephant. I never forget. So here's that. Here's footage of that. Bam! Look at that. Look at him go. Whoa! I guess there's no volume. I guess there's no volume. But look at his, look at his, <laughs> look at how he does this. Oh, it's like such a slow reaction. He's like a little character. Or like this guy says, Justin Wang. Why does he get knocked back like a Mortal Kombat character? What is it? Oh, yeah. Right? This is squish. This is so squishy. Squish, 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 squish. As I was uploading my podcasts to SoundCloud... Did rednecks kill your folks? Um, I was noticing that a lot of the episodes are, like, backwards or screwy in some way. Where the episode would be titled, episode 108, and then the title. And then I'm in my intro, I would say... Uh, or no, it would be, it was titled episode, or no, it was titled episode, like, 29 or something, I don't know, 19, 19, I think it was, and I said, welcome to the Dan My Gizmo Podcast, episode 18, and then I went to episode 18, and I was like, why are these backwards or something, and then I listened to episode 18, and then I said, welcome to Dan My Gizmo Podcast, episode 18, two, you know, episode 18, I did it right, but then in episode 19, I said episode 18, and there was just so much shit like that. But it's fine, because it's not until you hit around episode 100 when shit starts to go in the right direction, am I right? And even then, you still got a ways to go. I still got a ways to go. This is nothing right now, which is obvious. You can tell by everything about it, the views, the... the Shut your fucking mouth, you... You know... There's all kinds of shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um. What, you guys get bored or something? Come. Oh, that was quick. That was too quick. <laughs> yeah, funny. Pa dong ching. That's the only, yeah, that's really a downfall to this stream deck. Because if it was bigger, you know, if it had 12 on there, you know, I could fit a good selection of them on here so I could easily bunk, funk around with it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a classic, though, right here. Oh, it's frozen. We froze it. It's frozen. Oh. Farting in the tub. Farting in the tub. Farting in the tub. I will be just farting in the tub. Right? Badung ching. 
Badung ching, badung ching, badung ching. I'm also thinking of starting my highlights channel. Man, I get so many ideas. I need a notepad or something so I can start writing my ideas down while I have them. I don't have a notepad inside. I have a computer, though. Let me just... Let me just uh, open up a new page here, a new document. And uh, I say to myself, I will call it podcast ideas or idea storm idea storm during podcast boopity boppity um highlights start now what I might do when well, this is what I was thinking I will, you know, I'll turn my second channel into a highlights channel. Uh, forget about the gaming channel. I don't think I'll ever use that. Well, I might in the future. You never know. It's always there, okay? It's not something I care about that much, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's baby. <laughs> so the highlights channel, what's going to happen? Well, I'm going to I'm not going to I'm not going to find highlights all the way from episode 1. I might start it around episode 100. And I'll watch through and I'll find all the highlights and I'll chop it up and I'll pop a pop and I'll scoop a jupe and then I'll upload it all. And then from now on, I'll have to upload highlights and upload the audio version. Ooh, it's going to be good, baby. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. You don't even know. You don't even know. All the shite that has to be fucking put in place to get this done properly. Every day I think of something new that I got to implement. There's always something. And the bigger I grow and the more I make, the more I'm going to do. And the more you do, the more intriguing it's going to be and the more people are going to flock. And once they start flocking, that's when the money starts rolling in. And once the money starts rolling in, that's when I move out of this small shithole. And I go grab a fucking mansion. <laughs> and then... I buy whatever the fuck I want to do this podcast. And then at that point, it's... You're in fucking professional city. Then you're a profesh. But it takes time. It takes time and it takes consistency. Like I'll always say, I'll always say that. You'll never hear me not saying the key to this type of success of specifically what I'm doing, specifically YouTube, is consistency. You smell that? It smells like your dairy air. Ooh, that's a good one too. Ha na na. I'm gonna make a uh, another section on here for some clips. Slash bites. Ha 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 ha. So we got this one that I want. We need this one and then we need the mayo and then we need uh what was that one that i just thought of fuck me i lost it damn it i lost it <sighs> fuck 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 i fucking lost it for fuck's sakes i fucking lost it Doesn't matter. We can move on.
This is a shit episode. I'll just come out and say it. Well, it might not be that bad, you know? It's never a bad day when you got Bernie punching a bag, bop, and it knocks him off his fucking kilter. Uh, the other thing, I don't know if I can play any of this, so I'm not going to again. But, uh, oh. September 10th, Bill motherfucking Burr puts out his newest comedy special. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I really got to say about that. You know what bugs me? The only thing that bugs me about Bill Burr, I love everything about Bill Burr. He's a helicopter pilot. He knows how to play the drums. And he knows how to cook like a mile fuck. The guy's got it going on. Uh, and he does comedy. Great. At a very professional level. But the only thing that bothers me is the title of his podcast. It's called The Monday Morning Podcast. But he always writes whatever day he uploads it so it'll say the thursday afternoon pod the thursday afternoon monday morning podcast or some shit like that like it drives me nuts and i actually he's one of the few podcasts i don't listen to not because i don't want to but he doesn't i think it's probably because he doesn't offer it in video format I watch all my podcasts, generally, but if I'm driving, I'll listen to them. But I just never listen to Bill Burr's, and I, I need to start, because there's no way it's bad. It's going to be good. <coughs> we are, we are... Yeah, search, search, search for the fucking button. Yeah, that just takes so much time. My poop looks like angel hair pasta. Thanks, Bobby. I really didn't need to know that. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Why don't we stop talking about Bill Burr? Today's episode is going in the toilet. Because it sucks my dick. There's nothing entertaining to watch about this. It's just me sitting here talking shit. Talking shit. Talking shit. Okay, I wanna, let's just talk about Mike Falzone and Steve Zaragoza. If you don't know who Mike Falzone is... If you don't know who Steve Zaragoza is, then please pause this podcast. Actually, close it. Don't come back. Because this podcast is shit anyway. No. So if you don't know who these fellas are, okay? Steve started on... So I've said this plenty of times before, but Steve started on... SourceFed. SourceFed was a major news, you know, type platform on YouTube for quite a while. Created by Philip DeFranco. Uh, it was fucking fantastic. It was not only news orientated, but it was, you know, they had like the SourceFed nerd section, which was all like video games and board games and cool stuff like that. And. But even on the SourceFed regular channel, they had all kinds of like comment con commentary and amazing stuff. And then, you know, they got bought out by the Discovery Network or something. And then they shut it down and stopped it all. It just came to a halt. And then eventually Steve, you know, not only Steve, but uh, the, other, the other famous people who were part of SourceFed, like, Joe Beretta, Elliot Morgan, and Lee Newton, they got together and started started the Valley Folk. And then there was another branch of 
source fed people that created sugar pine and then there was you know everybody branched off into something else anyway mike felzone was also part part of source fed i hate how i have to explain all this but he was doing stand-up on the sides we're still doing stand-up and then anyway so then steve and mike get together and they start their own podcast called dynamic banter and it is a beautiful piece of art it's great it's one of the it's one of my favorite podcasts and it doesn't uh it's not like any other podcast out there and i take a lot of influence from it cuz these two guys mike and steve they're just great friends and they the whole time joe beretta said it best on the Valley Folk podcast when he said dynamic banter is basically an amazing representation of yes and um, you know comedy uh, improv that's exactly that is a great way to describe it because that's what it is the whole time they're just like bantering on each other but they're basically creating little improv scenes the whole time unintentionally like whatever you know and then that's i guess it is intentionally but it's it's just stream of consciousness they talk about whatever the fuck and then as soon as someone you know creates a little scenario they completely run with it and build from it they build these crazy scenarios into something big and amazing and it's so fun to just sit there and let your imagination run through what they have to say and how they say it now this isn't a style that the majority of people will like if you haven't heard of them and you go check out dynamic banter right now you're going to say to yourself this is garbage i don't like this not everyone's going to say that but you know, I can see the majority of people not enjoying this because it, there's a not it's not just that in what I described it as. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of like loud noises, crazy, you know, sound effects. <laughs> um, sometimes there's a lot of repetitive. Annoying sounds or whatever, but that's all just part of it. And once you accept that. It's so good. And it reminds me of a good friendship I have with a very good friend of mine who doesn't uh, even live around here anymore. And whenever I see Mike Falzone and Steve Zaragoza, it completely relays exactly the friendship I have between myself and this other person. And so it's just, you know, that's one of the, that's one of the main factors I watch dynamic banter. And I, it would be nice if someday I could turn the Dynamite Gizmo podcast into, you know, some sort of version of Dynamic Banter. Not a complete rip-off, obviously, but a completely inspired version of Dynamic Banter where I could have this friend that I'm talking about be in the podcast, like, full-time, like, th every time that I'm on. And we do something like that. That would be so... Like, that's... That is a that is what I envision whenever I watch dynamic banter. Because I know you know I have this friend. I like I am you know I'm either Steve or Mike whoever and I I know I have someone I have a friend who is exactly like the Steve to my Mike. Like it's it could happen if we lived closer together and could do this and so i've been pondering you know discussing it with him and then moving but i don't know it's one of those things <laughs> you know when you're when you're the type of person like me or really anyone who lives in hollywood you really gotta 
bargain. And you gotta take risks. And you gotta go all in. So if, if I were to do this, now would be the time to do this. But I have to go all in. Pack it all up and move. You know? And just simply put all bets on the podcast. And you struggle and struggle until it works. Because the, the cool thing about it is, as long as you stick to it and keep improving it, eventually it's going to work, right? It always works out. As long the, the problem with people trying to pursue their dreams is that they give up on them. They give up because they, you know, they can't support themselves anymore and they're like homeless or whatever. But that's part of it. Not saying everyone has to be homeless or whatever, but you have to go through that shit to come out on the other side alive and full of knowledge. But people give up when they get to that point, and then, you know, they relate to their children that pursuing a dream is almost impossible and shouldn't be done because it's not worth it. It's not worth it having your dreams crushed. That's what they'll say. But, you know, getting your dreams crushed is all part of it. And you're going to get crushed over and over and over and over again. But that's how that's how you make the dream happen. You learn from the crushing mistakes and failures. And you move you know, you take whatever information you gathered from that failure and you implement it into your next move. And, you know, you fail then and then you learn a little more. Fail again, learn a little more. And then that's when you, that's how, that's how this works, okay? It's either you do it that way or you have someone, you know, who's already in the industry and they, you know, push you in and then, or someone with money, you know. There's the easy ways and then there's the hard way. And if you're just an average Joe, you got to take the hard way. And then you do whatever you can to get there. Because you'll get there eventually. Because you got to look at it like this. Look at how many people have actually successfully achieved their dream. They did it. So just the fact that they did it. You know, there might not be a lot of them that did it, but there's people that did it. So that's just proof that it can be done. You know? So as long as you know that it can be done, then that means you can do it. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be very, very fucking hard. But it'll be worth it in the end. And some people you just can't convince us that uh, you can't convince them of that. They just don't think it's possible. Parents will tell their children, you have ridiculous ambitions that will never happen. And you know what? Just let that be the fuel for your flame. Take what they said and use it against them. Take what they said and prove them wrong. Isn't that what life is all about? Proving the people who deny you wrong. Right? Because once you do prove them wrong, not only does it feel good for yourself, but then you've changed the viewpoint and perspective of the person who denied you. And they will realize, oh, shite. I guess I was wrong. You know, they can't ever say that they were right after that point. Because if you show them, look, look, at, look, I'm making more money than you. To the power of 10. 
I'm better. Th- you're an asshole. It's, you know, don't say shit like that. But I don't know. Shut your fucking mouth. You-, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just think it. I just think it. Lord Jesus. So all I gotta say is, go check out Dynamic Banter. You may, you may not like it, but you may like it, but you may not like it, but you may like it. My poopoo looks like angel hair pasta. Um. Um. Come diddle um, diddle um, bada bum. So why don't we do some Reddit? And then we will end the shit. Did it, did it, did it, did it. It's not even a surprise anymore. Folks, it's not even a surprise. What is this thing? I guess it's tradition around here that that is the first option on my homepage every single time. Doesn't matter what day of the year, doesn't matter what time. And by the way, look, WoW Classic is number one. But anyway. Uh, once October hits, I like the fall. Once October hits, we're going to do like a little hollow. The whole month is going to be like Halloween themed. We're going to be talking about Halloween stuff the entire month. Excuse me. Uh, what is this thing? What is this machine? Oops. It was found in the basement of a supermarket I work at. That is an alien spacecraft. Something your bakery department doesn't use anymore, given the size of it. And all the electric warnings. It must be a dough mixer. And a dough rounder. Wow. The zoom on this Paul Point pen. The zoom? Oh, they zoom in on it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at it go. Wow. Ooh la la. Okay, for those, I guess I should explain. For those listening, we see a ballpoint. Oh, my God. We see a ballpoint pen on a piece of paper. Just laying there. Camera zooms in all the way, like all the fucking way down to like a microscopic level. And we're still going. There's just organisms. Oh my god, it's still going. Obviously this isn't a camera. At this point it's computer generated stuff, but that was beautiful. Why a ballpoint pen though? They didn't even zoom in on the ballpoint part of it. They zoomed in on the the little metal surrounding the ball. House is on fire, but it's none of his business. We got a guy smoking a cigarette on his patio while his roof is on fire. And there's firemen like kneeling on the roof for some reason. Just looking at the smoke. This is a strange image. Oh, booty. Well, that looks like a booty. Looks like an ass. I thought that was an ass. <laughs> but it's a fucking tunnel. Well, I guess I guess it is confusing perspective. Duh. I'm not going to explain the pictures. If you're listening to this podcast, you might as well just shut it off right now. <laughs> because uh, this is non-helpful for you. That's why I do it at the end. Because uh, if you're listening, you can listen all the way up until this point, and then you got to shut it off. Because this is definitely a visual portion of the podcast. Okay. Okay. Here we go. You want to see these sheep? Have something bad happen to them. That happens all the time. Let's watch. 
Number 15. Goes in for the teat. Comes out with a log on his head. How nice. Okay, let's watch this parrot react to magic. Whoa. <laughs> I can't believe. We obviously trained him to say that, but that's pretty cool. What the fuck? Wedding DJ had one job. Let's listen to this. Oh, maybe I can't. Get ready to pause it if it's uh gonna be some copyright and music. Is this is this wedding song? Remix. This is not happy. <laughs> okay, I gotta turn it down at this point. She doesn't look happy. She's like, no, no. Shut that off. <laughs> Oh god. So that's probably like uh one of the bridesmaids ideas. Or maybe no, it was definitely one of the the uh groomsmen's ideas. It was probably the best man's idea. And she was not having that. I'm in Miami, bitch. <laughs> Dad gets pretend vaccinated, so daughter will be less scared. Okay, gross. I don't want to see that. My local Chase bank burned down because a car ran into it. What? Okay. That's not that interesting. We got a GIF. We got a GIF. We got a GIF! But it's frozen. It's frozen salad! I could go for some salad. But I might have some... My poop looks like angel hair pasta. Angel hair pasta instead. Okay, this is not loading. At all. So, we're going to skip it. Old European houses have a shoe scraper by the door so that you could clean the mud off your shoes before entering. Oh, cool. Sega. Oh, because it's a Genesis. Conspiracy theorists, when Reddit servers go down, just the Chinese government starts violently attacking Hong Kong protesters. Ew. Oh, I thought he was bloody. <laughs> He's just eating a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit's gross. Looks great, tastes bad. Unless I tasted it when it wasn't ripe or something, I don't know. This tree bleeds when you cut it. Is that real or is that fake? I didn't use the coloring book because of this. Just a casual gift opening. Boom. Oh. Grandma. She's surprised.
the real picture of Tiananmen Square. What? What does this mean? Are those dead people or are they just laying down? Our mom's dad was a high-ranking military official. She had gone to protest in the days leading up to this event, but on the day of, her mom locked her in her room. Boggles my mind to think about. Boggles. Boggle, boggle. Dad, I don't want to watch that. Dad, I don't want to watch that. Alpha specimen. Hey, it's the Gatsby. He's got the Gatsby. All right, folks. Poor kids are just. Yeah, that's not the one I wanted. Did rednecks kill your folks? Do you hear fucks? Or do you hear folks? Did rednecks kill your folks? Now I hear fucks. Last time I hear folks. Folk? Folk? Did rednecks kill your folk? Hulk, 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 Hulk Hogan? Did rednecks kill your Hulk Hogan? Did rednecks kill your folks? Did rednecks kill your folks? Okay. <laughs> um, well, people... That is it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, you can hit that bell notification if you want, but uh, I don't recommend it. Uh, yeah. So, uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. This is running on empty. Rod, 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 Rod,